Daphne, there's something I need to talk to you about, and it's urgent. Hey, Mom. What's going on? I'm all ears. Look, Daphne, I know you've been sending me $2,500 every month, but I'm afraid it's not going to be enough this month. That's why I need you to send me more money. Seriously? It's not enough? But we're only halfway through the month. Don't tell me you blew through all the money I gave you already. Yeah, I gotta admit, I've already burned through all the money you sent me this month. But hear me out. Not a single penny went towards my own stuff, honey. It was all for your sister, Isabella. For Isabella? Are you sure? I mean, why does she need so much money? You know she's still in school, right? Gotta make sure she's got everything she needs to create the best possible environment for her to grow up in. You know me. I'm the kind of mom who doesn't hesitate to go all out when it comes to splurging on her kids. No doubt about it. Mom, I know that you care about Isabella. But don't you think it's a little too much to use up $2,500 in such a short amount of time? Please have a little consideration for me, too. The allowance I send you every month doesn't come easily. I worked extremely hard for it. So I'd appreciate it if you were a little more reasonable with the expenses. Don't be so stingy with your own family, okay? Have you got any idea how much I dish out every single month for your sister? With that 2,500 you send, I gotta do some serious mental gymnastics to make ends meet for Isabella. School supplies, textbooks, Clothes, meals, transportation, you name it, I gotta cover it all. Not only that, I have to juggle all sorts of household bills with the very same money you're sending. So don't even for a second think you're being super generous with that monthly dough. I get it. Raising a kid comes with a whole bunch of expenses. But isn't it kind of weird that the amount I send you every month still doesn't cut it for covering all the basic stuff? I mean, it's just two people in the house, you and Isabella. Of course it's not enough, dear. Plenty of times I've had to dip into my own savings just to keep things afloat in this house. It's a real stress fest, let me tell you. But as far as I know, you've got a job too, right? Shouldn't your own salary be used to cover the day-to-day -day living expenses as well? Oh, sweetheart, did you not know? I actually quit my job months ago. My main priority now is being the best mother I can be and ensuring that I provide exceptional care for our little Isabella. Wait, what? You're telling me you quit your job months ago? How come nobody told me about this? Well, you know what? I didn't want to stress you out with all the boring job stuff. So I kept quiet about quitting. I can only imagine how tough it is to work abroad all by yourself. It must get pretty lonely living on your own for such a long time. So honestly, I didn't want to bother you with these little things. You know, they're honestly not even worth mentioning. Um, honestly, I'm not too happy about being left out of the loop when it comes to stuff like this. It's kind of a big deal, you know? You leaving your job can totally mess with our family's financial situation. Did you think about that? Oh, Daphne, as much as I'd love to keep working, my body just wouldn't let me do it a while back. But let's get back to the important concern, shall we? When can you send me more money? The sooner the better, you know? Because the landlord's bugging me for last month's rent, too. Wait, now the landlord is after you for the rent, too? I thought you would have already paid them last month. Don't you remember? Besides the $2,500 I give you each month, I specifically give you money for the rent. It's a separate thing, Mom. Did you end up using that rent money for something else? Hey, don't make it sound like it's all my fault. You know raising girls can be expensive, right? I thought you'd understand that better than anyone. Your sister has a bright future ahead, and she's going to this fancy private school. Of course, that school requires a hefty tuition fee too. Plus, Isabella is always so sweet and adorable. That's why I spoil her with all the fancy stuff out there. I want her to look amazing whenever she steps out. But let me tell you, those clothes and makeup don't come cheap, you know? I'm sorry, but I can't believe you not only spent all of the house rent, but you also used up all of the monthly allowance I gave you for this month. It's really hard to imagine. 
Oh, don't stress about it, sweetie. Trust me, I've got this money thing under control. I always know how to spend wisely. So no need to fret. By the way, if you could send me some more cash, any amount would be awesome. Thanks in advance. I understand that you may need more money than I'm currently able to provide. However, I've already sent you the rent and $2,500 for your monthly allowance at the beginning of the month. If you need additional funds, you'll have to find a job and start earning more on your own. Hey, seriously? I can't believe you're actually pushing me to get a job like that. It's like you're making me feel totally useless or something. All I've ever wanted is to stay at home and give your sister the best care possible. I just want to be a loving mom to her. What's so wrong about that? Well, mom, I honestly don't think going to work would make you any less of a loving mom to Isabella. Plus, I don't think you're too old to get a job either, you know? Hey, what's with the back talk? Don't forget who gave you the go-ahead to leave me and your sister behind and work abroad. Yep, it was me. If it wasn't for my approval, you wouldn't be in that country, raking in the big bucks like you are now. Oh, really? If I recall correctly, it wasn't just a simple allowance from you to work abroad. No, you actually pushed me to take that overseas job because the salary at my old company wasn't enough to satisfy your never-ending demand. Well, my bad if I came off a bit harsh earlier. But seriously, can't you see the bigger picture here? I was just asking for your money to give you that extra motivation to earn more. Basically, I was the one who propelled you this far in life. Pretty thoughtful and considerate of me, right? Just saying. Listen, do you even realize that this whole issue with you constantly going over your monthly allowance has been happening for months now? Look, I'm sorry, but I can't keep sending you more money like this. If it's true that you've been using the money I sent you for Isabella, then I need some solid proof to back up your words. I need you to send me pictures of all the receipts for every single payment you make. Only then will I consider sending you more. Huh? Seriously? What kind of request is that? You really have zero trust in your own mother, don't you? Fine, fine. I'll do what you're asking, all right? Are you happy now? I can't believe you have the audacity to boss your own mom around like that. Talk about being ungrateful. Hello, is this Miss Daphne's phone number? This is Davis speaking, the head teacher at Isabella's class. If I'm not mistaken, you're Isabel's sister, correct? I was wondering if I could have a moment of your time for a conversation, if you're available at the moment. Hello, Mr. Davis. It's nice to have the opportunity to speak with you. Of course, we can have a conversation. May I know the reason for your sudden contact? Is there any particular concern or issue regarding my sister? I apologize if I inconvenienced you. Since I couldn't reach out to Miss Rosie, I had to contact you instead. I understand that you're currently not in the country, but I still hope that, in some way, you could communicate with Isabella and ask about what might be happening with her. My sister? She isn't doing well at school? I must say, Isabella continues to excel in her studies, and I'm proud to have such an outstanding student in my class. However, I have observed a few peculiarities in her behavior recently. For instance, she tends to wear the same clothes consistently throughout the week, and she often appears fatigued. Additionally, there have been several occasions when she has been absent from class without providing prior notice, and this happens more and more frequently. Excuse me, but you're saying that Isabella has been skipping her classes? I have made attempts to communicate with Ms. Rosie regarding this matter, but unfortunately, she has consistently declined to attend to my concerns. Oh no! What's happening to Isabella? I'm getting really worried about her. It's strange because every time I've reached out to her recently, she has insisted that everything is fine. I honestly don't know what Isabella might be going through at the moment. I made an effort to ask about her well-being, but she appeared hesitant and uncomfortable in responding to my questions. I hope that you could have a conversation with Isabella to find out if she requires any assistance or support. Thank you for your concern, Mr. Davis. I will make immediate efforts to reach out to my sister. It's no big deal, Miss Daphne. 
I sincerely hope that Isabella recovers quickly. She's genuinely adored by the entire class. Hey, Isabella. You have a few minutes to chat. It's your sister, Daphne, reaching out to you. Hi, Daphne. It's me, Isabella. Oh, thank goodness you replied, Isabella. Where have you been? I've been trying to get in touch with you, but you haven't responded to any of my messages, and I was getting really worried. Mom mentioned that you've been putting in a lot of effort studying for your upcoming exams. Is that true? I'm seriously proud of you, sis. Well, about that, I haven't been able to reply to your messages because Mom took away my phone. She's been strict about not letting me communicate with you. Wait, seriously? Are you absolutely sure about Mom taking away your phone? Because I've noticed that you still manage to reply to my texts every now and then. Although, yeah, I noticed you refused to take my calls a few times, claiming you were super busy studying. <laughs> if you've been chatting all this time, it's gotta be Mom you've been talking to. She probably used my phone to reply to your texts. And even when she lets me talk to you directly on the phone, she's always around, making sure I don't spill any secrets I'm not supposed to. Wait, what? So, how did you manage to get your phone back again? <laughs> well, luckily, I stumbled upon the secret hiding spot where Mom keeps my phone. She's still sleeping, so I seized the opportunity to take my phone back and message you. Hey, Isabella, can we please hop on a call urgently? I've got a bunch of pressing questions I really need to ask you. It's kind of important. No, Daphne. I'm really scared that if I speak too loudly, I might end up waking her up. I think it's safer if we stick to texting instead. I'm just really worried about the whole situation. I know Mom's gonna be furious if she finds out I'm texting you behind her back. But seriously, why on earth doesn't Mom let you talk to me? We're sisters! Maybe... did you do something that ticked her off? No, I swear I haven't done anything wrong. She just took my phone away out of the blue. Hey, I'm sorry. I know Mom has always had super high expectations for you. She can be a bit of a stickler when it comes to your school grades and all. Maybe she just wanted you to go all in and concentrate on your upcoming exams. <laughs> it's definitely not about my study results either. I always put in my best effort at school and I even scored the highest in my class. Way to go, girl. I've always known you're a rock star. If it's not about your grades, then what's the deal with mom taking away your phone? It just doesn't make any sense. Daphne? Do you think I should drop out of school? Wait, hold on a sec. Why are you suddenly talking about dropping out? You're just 15, girl. It's way too early to even think about quitting school. Plus, you've always been pumped about going to school, and you rock it academically. Did something go wrong? Uh, well, it's just that I've been feeling pretty exhausted lately. I don't think I can handle the whole school thing anymore, you know? You're not feeling well? I'm so sorry to hear that. Mom never mentioned anything about it to me. She always goes on about how she's taking great care of you. Every time I ask her about you, she's like, Oh, Isabella's totally fine, nothing to worry about. It's kind of weird she didn't clue me in on this. I don't know what Mom's been telling you, but she's not taking care of me at all. I've been taking care of myself most of the time since you left. Mom barely provides me with anything anymore. No way. Are you serious? Because Mom straight up told me that she's been using most of the monthly allowance I sent her to cover expenses like clothes, food, school stuff, and all the essentials for you. Wait, does this mean she's been lying to me this whole time? That's messed up! <laughs> I guess. To be honest, I even have to juggle part-time jobs to earn money and pay for my own tuition, food, and other necessities. But it's barely enough to cover all those expenses. What? You're saying you have to work part-time jobs just to afford tuition and essential items? So, let me get this straight. Mom doesn't provide any of that for you? Didn't she at least give you some money to buy those things on your own? Well, it's like she only hands me some cash when she's in the mood for it. She actually told me straight up that I don't even deserve to eat. And if she catches me trying to grab a bite from the fridge, she'd go off on me and even lay her hands on me. 
I can only grab a meal when she decides to give me permission. Oh my goodness! This is absolutely unbelievable! I can't even begin to imagine how incredibly hungry you must be feeling. <laughs> yeah, it's tough. My stomach keeps growling loudly at school, and it's super embarrassing. She even told me that I'm the reason our family's struggling because I don't earn any money, and apparently I just waste her money on pointless things. I can't believe this. If mom hasn't been using the money I sent her to provide for your education and other essential needs, then where on earth has all that money gone to? I'm not entirely sure how mom has been using the money you sent her, but one thing is certain. She hardly gives me any money. However, I noticed that she's been coming home really late. She leaves around 9 p.m. and doesn't return until around 6 a.m. the next morning. And after she comes back, she pretty much just sleeps for most of the day. I can't believe it. Is there any limit to her irresponsibility? Also, have you observed any other noticeable changes in her? Daphne, I'm really scared. Mom always comes home drunk, and I can tell because the smell of the alcohol is so strong. She already found out that I've been working part-time jobs, and she took away all of my salary and beat me for working behind her back. Now she won't let me go to school anymore and is forcing me to work so that I can make more money for her. I'm absolutely appalled. I can't believe how mom has turned so abusive towards you. I really don't want to drop out of school. But if I don't go to work, I won't have any money to buy food. I'll starve to death, literally. What should I do now, Daphne? Listen, Isabella, don't you worry at all. I've got your back, okay? I'll make it a priority to go back to our home country as soon as I can and have a serious talk with mom about this situation. Hey, Daphne, did you get all those pictures of the receipts I sent you? Check it out. I've been using every penny of the money you sent me to buy stuff for Isabella. Being a single parent is no joke, especially since your dad passed away. You gotta admit, you must be proud that your mom is still doing an awesome job taking care of your little sis, right? Oh, really? Did you notice anything weird or suspicious about the receipts you sent me? What? Is there something wrong with those receipts? Receipts for alcohol and cigarettes? Seriously? Do you really think a 15-year-old girl like Isabella would have any use for that stuff? Oops, my bad. Those receipts are actually mine, honey. I mean, come on. As much as I care about Isabella, I gotta treat myself too, right? And why on earth did you confiscate Isabella's smartphone? To make matters worse, you even went as far as pretending to be her and texting me. What's that all about? Wait, hold up. Who told you that? I swear, I never took away Isabella's phone. There must be some serious misunderstanding going on here, sweetheart. No, there's no misunderstanding here. Isabella spilled the beans and told me everything. She made it clear that you indeed confiscated her phone and even went as far as pretending to be her in our text exchanges. Huh? Isabella spilled the beans to you? I can't believe it. She's totally lying. Don't buy into a word she says. I'm seriously disappointed in that little girl. I've done everything I could to raise her properly, but she's developed this attitude towards me. She keeps defying my orders and has been getting more and more rebellious. No, Rosie. You're the one who's lying. I was seriously scratching my head when Isabella herself approached me for money, but now it's all clear as day. It was you pulling the strings all along. You took her phone, pretending to be innocent, just to deceive me and try to get my money. I've been telling you, don't fall for anything Isabella says. She's turned into a pro at lying. She's fooled me countless times in the past, so it's no surprise she can easily deceive you too. Trust me, she's become untrustworthy. Check it out. It's already 9 p.m. and Isabella hasn't come home yet. Who knows what she's up to out there? I wouldn't be surprised if she's partying it up at some nightclub without even bothering to let me know. That girl is in for some serious trouble when she finally shows up. Oh, don't worry. Isabella is safe and sound here with me now. Huh? What are you blabbering about? You're still working overseas, right? So how on earth could Isabella be with you now? That makes zero sense, seriously. Well, yeah, I was working overseas. 
but I made the call to head back to the States because Isabella needed my help. And now she's with me. How dare you take Isabella without telling me? Remember, I'm Isabella's mother, and I have her custody. You took her without my permission. That means you kidnapped her from me. I'm going to call the police on you. If you feel like calling the police on me, go ahead. But there's nothing wrong with family members wanting to be together, right? I mean, come on. I'm Isabella's sister, after all. And here's the thing. Isabella is old enough to make her own decisions about who she wants to live with. And guess what? She doesn't want to live with you anymore. It's because you weren't taking care of her properly. You were neglecting your own daughter. So, starting now, Isabella's going to be living with me. Stop falsely accusing your own mother. I wasn't neglecting Isabella, okay? Sure, maybe there were times when I didn't give her enough attention. But that was only because I was swamped with work. But you're not even working anymore. You told me that yourself, right? Did you forget? Huh? Did I actually say that? Well, maybe it was just a misunderstanding, dear. I'm indeed still working. No, you're not. I actually contacted your co-workers and they told me that you quit your job about a year and a half ago. Who gave you the right to go snooping around and prying into my personal life? Seriously, you're asking for some trouble, Daphne. Quit acting foolish and hand Isabella back to me right now, or I won't hesitate to call the cops. I'm dead serious. I've already said it before. Go ahead and call the police if you want. But trust me, it's gonna backfire on you big time. They're more likely to arrest you than me. Just saying. What? Why me? I haven't done anything wrong. Cut the act, Rosie. It's clear as day that you're committing a serious crime, which is neglecting your own child. You didn't provide enough food for Isabella, never bothered to buy her new clothes, and even made her drop out of school to work and earn money for you? Unbelievable! You were literally abusing Isabella. Seems like Isabella was nothing more than a means for you to make some quick cash, huh? I already told you. I'm trying my best to be a good mother for you and Isabella. But it's rather difficult because your dad is not around anymore. I love you and Isabella more than anything in the world. You've got to trust me. I'm speaking from the bottom of my heart. From the bottom of your heart? Oh, please. You're saying it as though that was as deep as a thousand foot well, when it's actually shallower than a baby's teaspoon. Isabella spilled the beans and told me everything. She was forced to do all sorts of housework and couldn't even take a proper shower because you wouldn't let her use the hot water. Not only that, you didn't even allow her to wash her clothes because you thought it was a waste of water. Seriously? Tell me, is there any loving mother out there who would treat her own daughter the way you've been treating Isabella? I can't wrap my head around it. Oh, come on. Seriously? How could you be so gullible to believe whatever a 15-year-old girl says? She's just spewing lies. No one in their right mind will fall for that nonsense. Nah, sorry Rosie, but she's not lying. I've already done my homework and talked to Isabella's teachers and friends, and guess what? They all confirmed that something was off with you. You need to face reality, Rosie. Your little scheme of using Isabella to make money is over. She's never going back to you, not a chance. Oh, and by the way, I'm not messing around. I'm reporting you to the police for child abuse. It's time you face the consequences. What? No way. No way. Sweetheart, I really think we need to sit down and have a serious talk about all this. Having the authorities involved just makes things way too complicated, don't you think? I mean, come on. Do you really want Isabella to get caught up in this whole mess? I know you wouldn't want that, right? Look. I'm genuinely sorry, all right? Just give me another chance, please. I promise I'll never treat Isabella poorly again. You have my word on that. I want things to go back to the way they were before. You're not going to be so cold-hearted to your own mother, are you? Rosie, let me make this crystal clear. I no longer see you as my mother. Not now, not ever. I will never, ever forgive you for the way you neglected Isabella and shamelessly used her for your own financial gain. You know what? You're not just a neglectful parent, you're a monster. 
It's sickening to think that a mother could treat her own child in such a despicable manner. I don't want you anywhere near us. Just pack your bags, disappear to some faraway place, and make sure we never have to see or hear from you again. That's what you deserve after everything you've done. After conducting a thorough investigation, the truth finally came to light. It turned out that my mother had been misusing all the money I sent her on frivolous things like new clothes, cosmetics, and meaningless parties. She had completely neglected her responsibilities toward Isabella. As a result, the authorities stepped in and took custody of Isabella away from my mother. On top of that, my mom had to pay a substantial fine as a consequence of her actions. Now, Isabella is under my care, and we have already moved into the new house I purchased for us to live in. As Isabella moved out, we put our old house up for sale, just as stated in my dad's will. The proceeds from the sale were divided among the three of us. However, my mother quickly squandered all the money she received and ended up penniless. From this point forward, I am fully committed to giving my little sister the life she truly deserves. I'll protect her and be there for her no matter what challenges come our way.